What's going on guys, a true here bringing you a, another review on Alia hides her feelings sometimes in Russian or sometimes hides her feelings in Russian, apologies. But this was a episode, now this one was a fun one to watch for sure, but uh, there's a lot to unpack, especially in the beginning. Because I can't tell if Yuki is hiding her feelings sometimes or is she genuinely just like this. So we start this episode by seeing her having this conversation with her grandfather who happens to be Colonel Sanders. And we have him talking about the whole general meeting that happened uh, the episode before. And we had, you know, her mother being present as well as Ayano, who of course is, you know, the servant of the family. And so we have them all gathered here and as she's going to bed, she talks to her mother for a little bit, asks, you know, how is your brother, how's Kuze? And she's like, he's good, we're doing good, you know, we're getting along. But we see that she needs to recharge by rubbing, you know, getting herself uh, a nice face full of Ayano. You guys get my drift. And so we have her having this little moment, and then the following day comes, and we have this little interaction with Alia and Kuze where she's still feeling a bit slump. You know, she's getting some people to talk about her and the whole situation that happened with Tanayama, but she feels really bad about it. She's still feeling as though, you know, she doesn't want her to be in a bad light. Uh, she still feels somewhat responsible for Tanayama's upsetness. And so she basically has to hear Kuze say, you know, okay, well, let's see what we can do to kind of downplay the situation. I'll talk to Nanoa and we'll see where we can go from there. So they were having this moment and I don't really know what Ali was trying to do. I don't know if she was going to try to kiss him or hug, hug him, but they were doing this in the council room, which was kind of funny in the student council room. And we have the student council president and Sarashina, the girlfriend, also in there which was kind of funny and we kept having meetings happening throughout this episode uh first was like with the whole family meeting we had during dinner now here with alia talking to kuze and now kuze talking to nanoa about the whole situation and you know trying to see you know hey you know can you can you find a way to patch things up we get to know a little bit more nanoa we actually get to find out that she's kind of like uninterested with a lot of things and she only really cares about Taniyama because she's difficult to read and she even says you know hey you know you and I aren't that different if you were to confess to me I'd say yes and I think it's funny how Kuz is like no just no <laughs> and it's kind of fun to watch but we see that Nanoa kind of helps out here she then spreads out this little uh, rumor or at least a little bit of information about what actually happened and hopefully things turn out a little more favorable. So we then have Kuze who after Nanoa leaves we have Yuki interrupting or he's being eavesdropping the whole situation with Ayano. Alia sees this happening and this of course you know gets her all pouty and later we have Alia wanting to study with Kuze. The two of them study but we have Yuki and Ayano showing up ruining it for her She's a jealous little one, so we have this little moment where she's speaking in Russian. That she only wanted them to be together. She didn't want anyone else to be there. And in the midst of all this, we had a book kind of show up. Masha shows up as well, a hypnotism book. They actually do a little, a little bit of hypnotism. Uh, we see that Masha at first is, you know, hypnotized. At first, everyone thinks eh, it's kind of a facade. Then Alia does it. She also lands into this. But then Masha actually starts reacting again, which is weird. And then we have uh, Yuki kind of taking over, you know, saying, you know, you guys should open yourselves up more and strip your minds and bodies of all thoughts. And then these two girls just basically kind of going into sleep, uh, sleep a hypnotized state, and they're just kind of acting like themselves. And then they try to get comfortable, which was kind of funny. We see them starting to strip, essentially. 
And so we have Sarashina getting there at the right time. You know, Yuki and Kuze, they tried their best to stop this hypnotism, but both, you know, both of the girls were not reacting. Luckily, though, we had Sarashina show up. She resets them, and, you know, the episode ends. Nearly having Kuze getting his jaw rocked by Sarashina, so that way she, he would forget about everything. But overall, a good episode. I actually enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think, though. I thought this was funny. But uh, overall, good one. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you all later.